The second suspect in the death of Vanessa Guillen made her initial appearance in federal court today. Fox 44's Emily Kay gives us the details. Emily, what'd you find out? Adam Sicily and Aguilar are suspected of helping 20-year-old U.S. Army Specialist Aaron Robinson in disposing of Guillen's body uh, after he is suspected of killing her two months ago. Killeen police say Aaron committed suicide after being approached by officers investigating him for the death of Vanessa. It is believed he admitted to Aguilar he killed Guillen by striking her in the head with a hammer on Fort Hood the day she disappeared. During a search for Vanessa's body, Texas Rangers found a burn site near the Leon River where cell phone records supposedly show both Robinson and Aguilar spent a significant amount of time together. After discovering the burn site, investigators recovered remains that have since been confirmed to belong to Vanessa Guillen. In court, investigators revealed a phone call took place between Aguilar and Robinson where Robinson said, quote, they found pieces. Guillen's family lawyer said in an interview that her body was so mangled she couldn't be identified through a dental examination, creating the delay in the confirmation of the remains found near the river. Uh, Vanessa's uh, face was bashed in so badly there was no teeth for them to identify. Um, so that's why they had to send her body to a Dover Air Force Base to get examined in that fashion and confirm that it was for her. That's why it took a lot longer than they expected. Aguilar faces up to 20 years in prison for conspiracy to tamper with evidence and up to five years of supervised release if found guilty. This charge also comes with a $250,000 fine. She's expected to reappear, reappear in court again on July 14th. Live in the newsroom, Emily Kay, Fox 44 News.